TLC is this Sunday, and we have a few updates to go through, so let's go through them as quickly as we can. First off, Rey Mysterio versus Randy Orton in a chairs match. Now, to me, this is originally a, just an original match at first, but now it is a chairs match. Now, those who have never seen a chairs match before, it's very simple. Chairs are legal. That's pretty much the only thing going on there. You can win by pin bar submission. No disqualification, no count out. Chairs are obviously legal in the match. Um, just pin and submission only. Uh... I'm going to pick Ray just because he needs the win more. Orton has been on a roll for a while, but I feel Ray needs it more. Next up, the finals of the Mix Max Challenge is what I have liked to call squash night for the past couple of weeks due to, the, due to the multiple injuries, multiple switches of teams, alternates, and whatnot. Um, and the finals are probably something nobody ever expected. It is Team Mahalisha, Alicia Fox and Jenner Mahal versus the Fabulous Truth, Carmella and R-Truth. That is actually happening. And not only is that happening, the winners of this match will be number 30 in their respective Royal Rumble matches. So obviously if Carmella, you know, for example, if Carmella, Carmella and Truth win, and I can't believe I'm saying this, our truth will be number 30 in the Royal Rumble. And Carmella will be number 30 in the Women's Royal Rumble. Same thing goes for Jinder and Alicia if they win. Which is, either way, is kind of odd for the Men's Royal Rumble match. Either way, I look at this. Very odd to have Truth or Jinder as number 30. I'm not saying they can't win. I'm just saying that's not who I thought would, would do this. And on top of this, by the way... They, I don't know if it's a combined trip or they each win a trip, but they would win a trip to any destination in the world and it's paid by WWE. So, you know, that's a good perk as well. I really don't know who to pick in this. I really don't. I don't know. I'm going to pick Truth and Carmella just because I want to see Truth as number 30, him not show up on the, on the night, and then show up on a Battle Royal coming out thinking he's number 30 in that match. I just want to see something stupid like that happen. Just because it's truth. Um, <laughs> next up, a ladder match with an added twist. It is Elias versus Bobby Lashley. And it's interesting, to say the least. It's not a guitar and a pole match. It's just a guitar hanging from wherever. And... Whoever grabs the guitar does not win the match. They can use the guitar, and I I believe it's pinfall submission. I think, but you, you just don't win by getting the guitar. That's, I know that much. It's... I want to make sure because I... I yeah, they can use it as a weapon, so I think it's pinfall submission. It's just, it's just an elevated... Something on a pole match is just in the air. Very odd. You know, I guess this is TLC. You can't do like a guitar on the pole match or something. But again, it's basically the same concept. You just get the guitar, use it, and you'll probably win at that point. But they have also mission as well. I will pick Elias just because he needs it more. Because Lashley, uh, he probably did get the guitar shot to the head. Probably. I don't think they're going to do stuff to the head. They haven't done it in years, but... A guitar would probably be the safer one to do than a chair or anything else. Uh, but, you know, it's going to take more than a guitar to take out Lashley. I'll say that much. And finally, we have a tables match. Ruby Riot versus Natalia. And this has been something over the past few weeks. Uh, Natalia using... Well, not using. Ruby Riot, rather, in the Riot Squad, using... The recent death of the Jim the Anvil Neidhart uh, to their advantage. And um, it is something that is unacceptable. I don't care if it's a storyline. I don't care if it is something. It, it's unacceptable. It's ridiculous. And it shouldn't be happening to the point where they had. I don't know if it was like one of those fat heads or something. Or like some kind of post-it thing of. The Anvil, like a life-size poster thing of Anvil on, on a table. Probably didn't show it the Sunday anyway, but uh, breaking the sunglasses, you know, just destroying the whole thing. 
it's just not needed. But it does create heat for the Riot Squad, and I know why they're doing it, but it's, it's just, I don't know. I just don't like it, personally. Um, you know, death shouldn't be mocked or even used like that. But it is what it is, and we can't change it. But I will pick Natalia for the obvious reasons of what I just said. If she doesn't win this, then I don't know what she go where she goes from here because she dedicated the match to her dad. Her dad's literally plastered on a table, at least a at least a fucking cutout or something on her on a table, and she's probably gonna go through her father, literally, well, figuratively because it's a fucking post-it thing, but whatever. It's stupid. It's stupid if she doesn't win. It's really stupid because where does she go from there? Just dedicate everything to her, to, for her dad and just lose every time and just make her dad look like shit. Because that's where we're going if she loses. That, that, that just makes no sense. So obviously, yeah, I'm picking Natalia just for what the fuck I just said. And uh, TLC is this Sunday. And uh, unless there's a kickoff thing, that is your final card. Um, there's probably one of them would probably be turned into a kickoff match. But time will tell. 